last few years, Amazon bin stores and overstock liquidation stores have been popping up all over the place. In fact, a couple weeks ago, I took you guys along with me to a brand new one that opened up here in Chicago. And at that store, I ended up coming away with over $1,000 worth of inventory. But is that consistent? Can I go to this store and reliably expect to make that amount every time I go? Or did the store just have a bunch of really good stuff out there for the grand opening? Well, today, we're gonna find out. That's right, I went back to the bins. Here's how it went. Oh, it is popping today. Ah, what's up, what's up? So here we are outside of the bin store, and as you can see, there was a huge line out front full of people ready to get in there and start digging. I didn't get the store until about 15 minutes before it opened, but some of these guys have been waiting there for hours. All right, I'm grabbing a bag this time. <laughs> And what's kind of weird about this specific bin store is that they open the doors around five minutes before nine and then everybody goes inside and you got to stand in front of a bin and wait for them to say go before you can start grabbing stuff. And at other stores, they just let you start grabbing stuff right away. And actually it's funny because they said go right when I was walking down my first aisle of stuff, kind of looking and scanning to see where I wanted to stand. And the first item I ended up grabbing was a pretty decent one right here. The reason that this blue box ended up catching my eye first is because I saw the words on the side, vehicle security system. System. And knowing that security systems can be rather expensive, I decided to go ahead and get it. When I opened it up later, it turns out that it is a little wireless backup rear view camera for a bicycle. However, I'd never actually heard of this brand before. It's called Funly. But after I ended up looking it up, I realized that these were being listed over $100, so not a bad first score. From there, I decided to do a quick scan of the bins that were around me, looking for items just laying on top that I can grab real fast, I didn't have to dig for, and I could just put them in my bag. The first one was this Fit Track Smart Scale. Then there was a Nexigo webcam, a Reptile Thermostat and Timer, some Epson 410 Ink, which is always a great seller. This actually sold in under two hours of me listing it. And then there was this right here. I'd never seen it before, but it was quirky and it caught my eye. This is a menstruation crustacean. It's made by the people who made What Do You Meme, so it probably has a bit of a following but it was just too weird and quirky for me not to just throw in my bag and it actually ended up selling in under 24 hours for me for like 30 bucks. Look how cute he is, how could you not want to buy that? Now I do want to point out that while I am finding some good stuff so far, 90% of the stuff inside of these bins is not going to be worth your time. It's a bunch of junk items, a bunch of filler items to fill up the bins. It's a bunch of stickers and phone cases and watch bands, just cheap stuff that you're not going to want to grab. It's about sifting through all that stuff to find the stuff that's actually worth buying. And even then you have to be careful with the stuff that you're finding that you do think you want to pick up. Like right here I picked up these Nintendo Joy-Cons, but it turns out once I went to the side and looked inside the box, it was just the straps. The actual Joy-Cons themselves were not inside the box, so I had to put that back because it's not worth $8 at that point. However, this next item right here that I found in the exact same bin as those Joy-Cons turned out to be my best find of the store. Casio. That's right, in this little box right here is a Casio Pro Trek watch. Look at this, there's even a nice little box inside the box, that's how you know it's high end. But check this thing out, obviously the box has been opened, but it is turned on and it is working, and I looked this guy up, this exact model is selling over on eBay for over two hundred dollars. That's what we like to see. I also want to point out while I'm buying stuff at these bins for resale purposes, I'm also finding some stuff for myself as well. So if you see some stuff in my bag that I don't mention, it's probably because I'm keeping it for myself like these wireless earbuds there. I actually ended up picking up two pairs of wireless earbuds. This one I might end up selling if my girlfriend doesn't end up wanting, but I am going to keep one pair for when I'm going climbing at the gym. And then I also found a Netgear Wi-Fi range extender. I'm probably going to try and install this here to see if I can get some better service back here in the office area, but if it doesn't end up working out, I can resell this for around 20 bucks. Now, like I said earlier, when I initially start looking through the bins right when the store opens and everybody's digging through stuff real fast, I am pretty much just only using my eyes. I'm grabbing the stuff that I know I'll be able to sell well, or I'm grabbing stuff that I want to have opened up at the back table to take a better look at the condition. But as the morning starts to move on, I do start looking up more and more stuff with my phone or scanning barcodes over on Amazon or eBay to see if some of these other items that I'm not super familiar with are worth picking up. Items like this keyboard right here, I end 
ended up looking it up over on Amazon and it looks like it was going for around 40 bucks. Or this drill mate that I saw someone just put down, this thing ended up being worth around 45. This wise out hammock ended up being worth about 22. And these quick set doorknobs right here were worth around 25. And also while I'm scanning this stuff with my phone, I'm also reading the small little labels that are on the outside of some of these boxes because these small labels can give you a big hint as to what's inside. Like with this item right here, you can see I'm looking at this label figuring out what it is and it turned out to be a really, really good item. Inside this brown box ended up being a Orbit Beehive set. I've dealt with Orbit stuff in the past, so that's what tipped me off to go ahead and put this in my bag. And it turns out that this Beehive system right here is worth around 70 to 75 bucks. And a ton of people passed up on this box because they didn't know what was inside and they didn't take the time to read this little label right here on the back. So there's a tip for you guys. Learn how to read. <laughs> that sounded so bad. Right, my first bag's already getting full. I also want to mention that while I didn't buy anything from these bins, this store also had a few large bins full of various clothing. When I did take a quick look at it, it looked like a bunch of it was just like cheaper knockoff stuff, but I did see a few things in there like some Lee jeans and some other little small things that if I took my time and went through it, I bet I could find some good stuff in there. I just really wasn't feeling like going through a bunch of clothing this day. And something else I want to point out is how they restock at the store. I really do not like how they do their restocks at this specific store. You can see Right here, this guy has a shopping cart, and he's just going around and throwing new items into the bins, and this got really, really chaotic really, really fast. And that's because when people realized this is how the restockings were going to take place, there was just a giant herd of people following around these guys with grocery carts and essentially just diving onto the tables to try to get new items. It was pretty crazy. I was staying out of it, and I just decided to go the opposite way because I'm not dealing with that. Sorry. <laughs> I would 110% rather them just do it how every other bin store does it and just take away one of the old rows and replace it with a new row of new inventory and just count it down and let people go in all at the same time. It would work out so much better. People aren't jumping over each other and the aisles aren't getting blocked by huge herds of people either. So the last thing I had to do before I checked out was go get some of these boxes opened up, make sure the items were in good condition, and then I decided to check out. Yeah. How many? 18. 18. Got it. And normally that's where things would end, but on my way out, I noticed something next to the door that caught my eye. Oh, I got mystery boxes. That might be a fun video. I might have to come in and grab those. 80 bucks a pop. You know what? That could be a fun video. I think I'll come back in and grab some. So I kind of made a little bit of a impulse decision right then and there at the door and I bought a few boxes. However, I'm not gonna open those on today's video. If you wanna see what was inside these $80 mystery boxes, be sure to go down low and subscribe to my channel and I will have a separate video available very, very soon on me unboxing whatever's inside those. But I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. I might do that video immediately after I get done filming this one. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this trip to the bin store. Overall, I gotta say, the quality of items at this store seem to be pretty consistent with what they were at the grand opening, which I can't say about a bunch of the bin stores that I've done here on the channel. Just generally over time, the quality of their stock seems to go downhill, but so far it seems like this store is going to be rather consistent. Now will it turn into a consistent store for me to be visiting for inventory? Only time will tell. I do think I'll end up going back here in the future, but as I've stated in other videos, it's not exactly my favorite way to source items. It's a little bit more frantic and competitive than what I like. You know, I just don't like being like shoulder to shoulder pick with people while I'm picking. It's just not the kind of sourcing that I like to do. However, if you're a seller who doesn't like going to yard sales and estate sales and stuff like that, and you have a Friday morning off, I think places like this could be a great way for you to source some inventory and possibly generate some extra income on the side. Anyways, those are my final thoughts on the bin store. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down low and smash that like button for me. It really does help me out and lets me know that you are enjoying this kind of content. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.